Hello and welcome to Things I Wish I Knew About Crucible on Day 1. First off, the queue. On Friday's playtest with the developers, queue times are 5 to 10 minutes between matches as people ready up. But on other days, on average, it's 20 to 30 minutes between matches. Just remember to go to the LFG in the Discord and ping at Gamer, or you might not get a match. This gets better every time! You can now drop on opponents and- Are you new to the game? Well, new players come almost every other week, so if you don't know what you're doing, you are not alone. Just remember that this is a team game, and running across the map away from your teammates is probably not the best course of action. If you're brand new, I recommend following the highest level person in your game around and observe them, slash do your best to help them out. You could learn a thing or two. Also, keep in mind, voice chat is extremely helpful. Hives also have a crit spot, so that certain characters can shoot them and do additional damage. And, you know, take them down more quickly. So keep an eye out for which these characters are and where the crit spot is. Scanning, crouching, and medkit use. When you use a medkit, you'll actually crouch and walk slower. Enemies hitting or shooting you will interrupt this, as well as if you decide to use a skill or jump. Scanning is also done while crouching, and it allows you to see red clouds where the enemies are. And, if you put your reticule over it, it will reveal who or what it is. Your nearby allies can also see who or what is on your scanner. Use this to ambush enemies. Harvesters. These are the main way to gain XP passively. Be sure to capture them whenever you get the chance. Other ways to get XP include killing creatures, players, and capturing mini harvesters. Learning a new character. If you want to learn a character, the practice map is a really good way to figure out the skills, work on your aim, and test out combos. Strategy. Sometimes getting the amplifiers or in-match upgrades is actually more beneficial than getting the main objective. So keep an eye out for these powerful upgrades and decide as a team what you want to do. Sometimes one person is enough to get it, and other times you find both whole teams having a massive battle over them. Keep an eye out for an opportunity to get the objective or the amplifier while your opponent is distracted by your team's combat. This can be the difference between a win and a loss. Your hunters have captured a hive heart. Plants. There are four kinds of plants on the planet Crucible. Two that deal damage and two that give you a buff. The green ones are health plants. Shoot them and run into the mist to get a boost of regen. The yellow ones will give you momentary stealth to allow you to use a med kit, bamboozle an enemy, or simply feel like a ninja. The red ones on the walls will slow and damage enemies, or friendlies, who run into them. These are useful when chasing or getting away from enemies, as they prevent them from escaping or chasing you. And finally, the purple slash pink plants, well, if you shoot them, they will explode and hurt anyone nearby for a chunk of health, and if they remain in the spikes, they will weaken them, causing them to take more damage while they're there. If your game starts not responding on the load screen, if this happens, just hit wait until the program starts responding. The reason is because something happened, and it just needs a few seconds to load. Please do not force close your game, or you won't be able to get into that match, and you'll kick everyone else who's queued with you.
Tournaments. Yes, I said tournaments. There are paid tournaments on Sunday. Paid by Amazon and awarded and hosted by Rivals Esports. However, a team of four is required to enter. Although, if you don't have a team of four, you can always throw one together using the Rivals Esports Discord. Other random things that I wish I knew. So, there is an official Discord channel for the game where you can directly interact with the developers, brainstorm suggestions with other players, post videos, screenshots, and crash logs of the bugs you found in the game, and there are channels for the community to share their creations such as videos or fan- In addition to the Discord, on Fridays you are encouraged to fill out a weekly survey of the game, how it is doing, where it is it going, and where you'd like it to go. Fill these out, it will only help the game progress. Battle Pass and Skins As you know, in other team-based MMOs, a lot of content is skins and season passes. However, Crucible gives each new player a thousand credits, which is the in-game cash currency, so they can get their first season pass. Now, the cool thing about this is, as you level up the season pass, you earn more credits, as well as skins, emotes, emojis, and more. Another way to earn credits is to level up your characters. Leveling up your characters will also get you emotes, skins, stickers, and other cosmetics for that character, as well as these credits every few levels, so you can buy that awesome skin you've been dying to get. Your opponents have captured a high part.